Hello everybody and welcome back to another Planet Zoo video today where we will be building a dingo habitat. It's not just a normal dingo habitat. I've named this build the Dingo Den because the front of it is basically like a little den for our lovely dingoes and the, uh, the rear of it, like the main big area, is going to be like a dugout den area for our dingoes and another point to this build is that everything is going to be eco friendly so there's going to be there's some recycling bins and recycling points everything's made out of like recycled metals uh yeah i really wanted it to be eco friendly recycled metals and i'm really trying to get a, a nice build what looks like it's been made by all recycled uh, materials and I really wanted it to get that feel as well as the Australian feel using all the new Australian DLC items and I think it comes off looking pretty alright I might add a few little touches before I upload this to the workshop uh, but it definitely will be on the probably by the time this video goes live so if you want to download it and um, put this habitat in your zoo feel free to do so I'm more than happy for you to do that and yeah I had a lot of fun making this and I'm gonna go through it and I'm not gonna talk a lot I'm like I'm gonna let you chill out let you relax and let you watch most of the build in silence with a bit of music playing in the background so yeah I'm not gonna talk too much but I'm gonna talk a little bit of my kind of like thought process behind this and the reasons I chose different ways of doing stuff so as you can see I started off with uh, um, rock work and I ended up doing actually a lot of rock work which took a while so I do skip a little bit in a couple of minutes uh, I don't think you want to sit there and watch me spend hours doing rock work but yeah I'm just placing in and sinking in all the rocks around the edge I wanted to create viewing points inside the rocks and I managed to do that using the, um, the glass barrier what comes as with the game in the barrier um, menu and I just implement that into the rocks and it gives it a nice like integrated rock den type of feel as you can see here we fast forwarded a little bit so you can understand what I mean so the glass is now there put some foliage at the front of the glass trying to make it a bit more natural a bit more realistic and I decided to add these lamps um, to like light up the glass and light up the front of the habitat and use the rustic like rusty metal from the Australian pack uh, I'm not too sure of the actual name but it's like a rusted metal as well as the wood plank again giving it like a recycled rustic feel and the lights are there to shine down on the front and to highlight the main viewing area really so I guess can see what's going on I've also built another viewing area to the side there as you just saw I'm using the same kind of method with the glass built into the rocks and the foliage in front of the glass now here I wanted to build a little waterfall but I didn't want a full on big like wow waterfall all falling down I wanted it to look a bit more natural and, and a bit more like built in and yeah I didn't want to make it the centerpiece of the build I just wanted it to make like it fitted well in the build if that makes any sense I know what I mean uh, comment down below if that makes sense or if I'm just absolutely chatting gibberish <laughs> but yeah I started to add foliage in foliage in this guy in this in this guy what foliage in this game guys and girls that's what I meant to say really brings out builds and really makes habitats just pop and come to life um, no matter how basic or how burnt you think your habitat is just throw a load of foliage in honestly if you throw a load of foliage into your builds and into your habitats it fills up spaces it makes it look more natural more like an actual zoo and an actual habitat what you would have in a real zoo and really fills in gaps and makes um, different areas stand out and makes the whole look 
better in my opinion anyway um, yeah so if in doubt add foliage that's what I would say as you can see I'm just adding the um, like the vine foliage type things around the edge of the rot again to give it a more realistic feel I've also already added the enrichment items for our dingoes as you can see they have got a little pool there with some trees surrounding it I do end up building um, a custom like canopy area for them like a bit of shading over that pool so ch stay tuned for that as you can see right now I'm just trying to build the like the outer edge gate type thing so that the barrier and I did struggle I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you I did struggle to get this how I wanted it to look I had a couple of ideas in my head of how I wanted the gate I wanted a custom fence all the way around I end up using these lovely rustic rusty metal pieces again what I used um, earlier when I was doing the lights and these are good for two reasons first reason is is if you're doing a build like this like it looks like these have been recycled and they can be recycled they also look very out backish if that's even a word like you would get in the outback of Australia very rusty and rustic um, it gives you that real outback feel love the new pieces in the Australian DLC Planet Zero have done an amazing job adding all these new pieces but yeah I'm just trying to copy it over as you can see here and in fact I end up scrapping this whole idea I've got now I ended up lying the, the pieces down first and building it from scratch look you can see me doing it here so I'm just building it from scratch getting it exactly how I wanted it before I put it into place because the rotational symmetry and everything was really annoying me while placed um, at a diagonal level across that um, rock face what you just saw so I lie it down create the fence and then I place it into the slot where I want the fence to be so yeah the good thing the other good thing about these pieces is that they slot into each other very nicely um, so if you put position snap on and position rotation you can literally just click them into place they all line up perfectly and yeah you can create some amazing things with these rusty pieces and actually watching this back right now is giving me some ideas so I better get my notepad and pen and write those ideas down uh, watch out for uh, more like outbackish buildings coming from me and videos coming from me with, with stuff like this uh, for the top of the barrier I end up turning it upside down uh, so the way you're seeing it now the circle bit I end up sinking into the floor and then this red beam I'm, I'm adding it into now ends up being like the main barrier piece where you would like hold on to or you would rest your hands on and stuff or hold on to as you walk um, yeah I wanted it red I wanted it to stand out I end up going with the color red a lot in this build and I really like the color especially in like an Australian theme build it just seems to go um, but yeah as you can see just placing these in now and I'll skip a bit forward here till when I've placed them all in as you can see I've placed all the barriers in now nice and neat all the way around it did take me a while that's why I skipped it for you um, to place them all in and line them all up and what you can see me doing here is just creating a little sign um, and I think I write on the sign donations please yeah donations please and I put a little donations bucket there um, this is a nice thing to do around barrier edges instead of just placing your donations bucket let people know why it's there ask people nicely to donate there's more chance of them donating well in real life anyway not in the game it doesn't actually have an effect in the game but in real life you're probably more likely to um, donate if someone asks you nicely aren't you so as you see I'm just finishing off the uh, barrier area here and making sure everything fits in perfectly um, I use the main like pillar parts from the Australian DLC pack again and it's the, the poles as you can see there really like that poles it reminds me a lot of the African uh, poles they have uh, loads of detail on them and really nicely textured and decorative 
so that's pretty much it all done now and as you can see what I'm adding here is um how do you explain this it's a bit of like a safety net basically it's so the dingoes can somehow climb up all the wall so it stop the, stops the dingoes getting out so that's what it would be for anyway and it stops um, your lovely children or your clumsy um, uncle or dad um, falling over the banister and then getting lost in a dingo habitat because that's the last thing you want to do on your visit to your local zoo in Australia so yeah it's just a bit look it makes the build stand out from um, a, const a not constructive point of view like a decorative point of view it makes the build stand out again the realistic value it adds more realism to the build something what you would actually see in a zoo um, like that protective barrier around the inside of habitat now what you can see me doing here is building this little viewing platform area where I extended out of the path and I use the shop cover and it comes out looking really good better than I've actually thought it would look yeah I place the shop cover all the way around the edges and it creates a lovely little barrier just because something says what it is in the game you do not have to use what it says it is this is a shop cover and as you see I'm not using it as a shot as a, a shot front cover I raise it up um, give it a little bit of height and then I place the, the like the shipping container sides down again giving it that recycled feel and that um, rustic outback feel also sticking with the theme I end up recolouring these to red as you can see they're currently blue but I do end up recolouring them to red to fit into the build and it comes off looking really good I love using pieces in this game and finding different ways to use them rather than what the description says to use them for try it yourself let me know how you get on I'm going to be quiet now for the rest of the build I will catch up with you in the end with a full run through of any changes I've made and any changes um, what I want to show off really and yeah just a full run through of everything I changed and a full run through of the whole habitat a little tour so to speak so stay tuned for that and I'll see you in a couple of minutes
Well, here it is, the finished product. We have finished the Dingo Habitat, Dingo Den, eco-friendly Dingo Den. I've already mentioned that in the speed build segment, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little segment. Um, I'm going to give you a little tour now and a little recap and, the, well, a little view of the finished product. And so you can get the full look in real time motion. So here is the front of our habitat. I didn't want a big glitzy um, sign. I wanted everything to look quite natural and and yeah. So I've, most of the objects I've used are eco-friendly. So I've used some wood, what could have been recycled. Um, a lot of metal and anyway, I'll start from the beginning. Sorry, I'm excited. I really had a lot of fun playing this build. So yeah, here's our main viewing window with a little bed in there where our dingles would sleep. Couple of signs here. Keep quiet sign, blah blah blah. There's our information board and donation bucket. We come under here and I've built a little like canopy area, a little shading area for our guest with seats underneath for them to chill out and relax. And if we come here, we can see our little recycle bin collection we've got going on here um, to make sure our guests are putting the things in the bins. We all know what guests can be like in Planet Zoo. A little bit messy. Speaking of messiness, here's the one person who cleans it all up if they don't decide to put it in our recycle bin. Yeah, anyway. So we come through here and we've and the path parts. We've got a little pond area here, just a basic pond, didn't want to overdo it. Um, there's our lovely maintenance guy, got his drill out, flipping it about. I like your skills. <laughs> so yeah, we've got a little building here and this is our toilet building. So if we go in, our toilets are to the side there. Um, again, using all the metal and wood. And oh, I've not actually covered this. I, I am going to add some little details and some little bits and bobs before I upload this as um, a blueprint. So bear with me, I will be doing that. Um, but yeah, we have a quick look. There's our power source. Um, obviously, solar paneled and not transformer again eco-friendly um, on the outside we've got a little planter made with the um, the new piece what's it called sorry let's have a quick look oh the wooden pallet of course i don't know why that that just went out of my mind then for some reason so yeah staff facilities and our toilets and we come through to the other side we've got all nice lighting i'll show you what it looks like with the lights off in a couple of minutes and we've got our little rock area with our little water feature, fountain, whatever you want to call it. Um, the, the dingles can go in there, have a little swim. We've got a little ball in there for them to play with. And yeah, these custom fences all the way around our habitat. We've got a little viewing area, viewing area here for our guests. Again, a recycle bin, education board, and as you can see from the speed build, this love. I really, I really like this. I changed it all to red, um, and I added this little uh, like shaded area canopy thing up the top. Some benches for our guests to sit down um, over here. Because we are running on solar panels and they don't have um, as much coverage as the transformers, I did have to place a couple more down. So I've got one here. Um, it has no negative effect on the guest, luckily, because it is eco friendly. Um, another little like, lake, pond area. Yeah, I just really wanted to mix things up a bit. And I added this little fence, and this is the Australia decorative signpost, and I've just turned it on its side, sunk it into the ground, and it makes a nice little unique fence. I really like how it looks. Um, some foliage, um, there's our donation sign. So all the way around, again, using these signposts, and, oh, don't wanna do that. So we've got lights, of course, and get rid of that user interface and another little solar panel here and just here we've got another viewing area uh, pretty much the same as our front viewing area uh, yet yeah, guarded off by the metal fences foliage added to give it a more natural look um, 
So yeah, that's pretty much the whole of the outside and a little bit of the inside now. So this is our like cave den area. That's why I named it Dingo Den. This is where they can sleep and chill out. This is one way glass. Um, so our dingoes will be nice and comfortable and relaxed and not get too stressed in there. And it does count as hard shelter because it's covered up here. I one is actually having a little nap there as we speak. Oh, so cute. Like a wolf slash a dog, aren't they? Oh, there's another one. So you doing? Just sniffing the ground. Oh, I think he's going to have a lie down as well. Lazy dingoes. So yeah, they can come around there. They can come down here. Um, they can use this as hard shelter as well. And we have got a new arrival actually. We've got a little bit. Oh, where my camera going? A little baby dingo. How cute is that? It's howling currently. Adorable. And our other dingo is having a yawn and a lie down. Look at that. I'm actually going to take a picture of that because that's adorable. <laughs> um, over here we've got the enrichment item for the dingo. This is the new enrichment item which is the water pool. Um, little, another little canopy shading area for when they're in the pool. So they can um, relax in the pool, have a play about while being in the shade. Um, obviously foliage throughout the correct foliage as well, what you would find in a desert. Um, enrichment items pretty much everywhere as you can see here. And these one up here, the tug rope. So yeah, that is pretty much the whole build. Nothing too complicated, but if I say so myself, it come out looking very nice. And I'm really happy um, how it came out. And I'm really happy to build some of what's eco-friendly as well. And it's all about the environment. If you like this build and if you liked this video, feel free to drop me a like on the video it helps the channel a lot it helps me grow as a channel and as and as a content creator if you want to see more videos like this um, feel free to subscribe if you want you don't have to but you can do <laughs> uh, and like i always say my name's adam have an amazing day and i will catch you in the next video